Hey everybody, Subway is in trouble and has just called an emergency meeting. I am the Economic Ninja. I hope you are doing great. There is a serious problem right now with fast food chains around the nation. And one by one, like McDonald's warning that they're losing customers because their food is too expensive. People don't have the money to stick up with the inflation rate. They're not finding new jobs. They're not getting higher pay. And this is causing trouble for certain brands. Now Subway, Remember all the days of Jared and eat fresh? Well, it's not so fresh anymore. It says here, Subway calls an emergency meeting with franchisees as fast food value wars potentially claim first casualty. First, quick service restaurants or QSRs are locked in a fierce value war offering cash strapped cons uh, consumers $5 meal deals, or even better bargains to maintain their market share. This battle for value has intensified as QSR executives recognize that low and mid-tier households have been financially squeezed by the Biden and Harris economy. Hmm, interesting. With elevated inflation, high interest rates, depleted savings, and maxed out credit cards, consumers are feeling in rough shape. Hey everyone, type one if you are feeling the squeeze when it comes to eating out, like even at fast food places, or going to the grocery store. People need to understand that there, you need to get ready for an economic downturn because what happens is as a consumer gets squeezed, it happens every seven to 10 years, but this is a big one, okay? This is different than normal cycles. They stop spending and then everything falls. There's a deflash, deflationary crash. And then who is gonna be left to pick up the, the pieces? I hope you do. Real quick, I'm throwing out just a handful of discount links for $39, if you have low credit and you wanna learn how to build it up and go from zero to hero and never have a low credit score again, check it out, the links, it's 39 bucks for the course. I'm only throwing out a handful of links and as of Sunday, it's over. All right, McDonald's was the first to launch $5 meal deals and Burger King followed suit. On Monday, Yum! Brands, KFC said, it would unveil a meal deal on its of its own near term or in the near term. Look. The fact is companies like Subway have to stay in business. They want to stay in business. So when they are forced with less customers coming in, and I'm just gonna say right now, there's nobody here. As a matter of fact, check this out. Look at the store. Oh, look, let's just go for a cruise right now. Check it out. This is all boarded up right now, right? Look at this store right here, big lots. Big old closing sign right there. If you go down here, right next door to it, this, uh, uh, it says available next to the T-Mobile building. It's completely empty. The point be being is that businesses are dying because customers aren't coming. Well, if you want to stay in business, you've got to lower your food prices, which means shrinking sizes a lot of time, uh, putting subpar ingredients in things, but you're doing everything you can to survive. And we're seeing companies laying people off, uh, doing all kinds of crazy things from not only restaurants, but also tech and things like that. Things are coming down. So this is the cool thing about all of this. What goes up must come down. When inflation happens, eventually there will be deflation. Now the sad thing, because of government regulation and the overreach of, of the Fed and what they're doing, I believe it's actually gonna cause uh, more inflation in food in the near term, all right? But let's dive back into this story. It says here, as QSR uh, value wars heat up, sandwich chain Subway, could be the first casualty in this um, spiraling price battle. Put down below if you eat Subway or if you don't. I'm just curious uh, how many people, or if you use to and you don't, I just wanna get sort of the pulse of what's going on with this chain specifically. So now here's some more info from the New York Post. Subway has called a hasty meeting with franchisees. I don't think it's a hasty meeting at all of its 19,000 North American sandwich shops as they grapple with faltering sales and profits, the Post has learned. This con uh, conference is essential, Subway said in the invite. Join us to discuss the state of the industry and an update on our business. The New York Post spoke with a franchisee operator who owns 20 stores. The individual said same store sales are down five to 10% in recent weeks. That's a massive turn in, in recent weeks. In recent weeks compared to uh, the prior year, the individual blames the downturn in the chain's promotions and foot traffic has plunged. You see, that's another big thing. McDonald's, when they started seeing customers walk away, especially a certain demographic of customers, 
they had to take action fast. Well, how do you take action? You've got to lower your prices. Well, the problem with that, a lot of it comes with automation. We've seen in the last few years, especially in California, where they said, hey, we think that everyone working in fast food should make 20 bucks an hour. Okay, no problem. That comes at a cost. We're going to start having robots make the burgers and things like that, which means we're laying people off. Very sad, but this is how the business cycle goes. Now, it says here that we're talking about the gentleman that owns 20 subways. He says they're, they're doing... Uh, crazy coupons, the franchisee owner said, adding, our gross sales are not even at 2012 levels and profit was five times what it is today. Back then, this is insane. So they are being, these franchisees owners are being squeezed so badly, especially in states like California. It says the, nat the latest national ad campaign with NBA great Charles Barkley appears to ha have been a flop. Data shared with the New York Post showed that average weekly same store sales, again for Subway, uh, for the Eastern US region with about 1,000 locations has dipped 8.7% between June, uh, June 25th and July 16th compared to the same period one year ago. So this company, Subway, is seeing massive falls, drops in its business in literally the, a, a, mere, a month. This is incredible data, maybe two months. This is why they would call for an emergency meeting. You may even see this chain go under in the next year. Those kind of, if they don't do drastic changes or some big ad campaign to really get people back in, you could see some very serious issues here. Restaurant consultant John Gordon said the Thursday meeting appears very unusual. In recent weeks, Gordon said that he had viewed Subway's same store sales figures across the West Coast and East Coast regions, which show a 10% plunge. QSR value wars and emergency meetings by Subway do not occur um, during boom times or boom times, they are an ominous, ominous sign that the consumer downturn is gathering pace. And it absolutely is. Look, if you are not on the side, if you are not getting ready for this, I don't know what to tell you. You need to get your credit score up. Okay. Cause you need to take advantage of amazing deals. And if you need access to capital through banks or mortgages or, or loans, you need to have your credit score up. Okay. So that's why I put out that link. It's, it's $39 for the credit score pro. We put a lot of time and effort in this course to show you how to build your credit score going from zero to hero. Or even if you have a 720, 740, I want to see you in the eight over eight to 850 range. You will learn this information and you will never go back and you will always have a high credit score as long as you use these principles. And it's actually very easy to get going. It's a strategy that works and it works faster than you could uh, shake a stick at. So if you want it, there's a handful of links down today. This sale's going on through Sunday. Uh, it's $39. After that, I don't know what we're doing, but this is the pre-filming discount. The Economic Ninja is out.